And now, for the second part of our journey on Route 66 between Victorville and Barstow. This segment starts in Hellendale, near Silver Lakes, and ends at the outskirts of Barstow. It is roughly 18 miles, or 29 kilometers, in length. If you haven't seen the first part of our journey, which is between Victorville and Hallandale, go look for that one first and watch it. That video tour has references that will relate to this tour. Unlike the first segment, which had many things to see along the way, this segment passes through more barren land, which puts the focus on the vastness of the Mojave Desert. Because of its reduced traffic, this segment will give you more of a sense of what Route 66 felt like if you were driving it back in the 1950s. As you will see from the maps, this segment of our trip starts at the Vista Road entrance to Silver Lakes in Hellendale. It mainly follows the Mojave River and the old Santa Fe Railroad, both on the left. The road passes through an area called Hodge and ends in the community of Linwood, which is actually inside Barstow's city limits. A mile past the Silver Lakes turnoff is Burdens. Originally, this was the center of the small town of Hellendale. Burdens was a store and post office originally built when Route 66 was first commissioned in 1926. There used to be several other buildings located here, including an old schoolhouse, which was located across the street near all of the tamarisk trees. Just to the west of the school was Hellendale's train station. Next to Burdens was the old school marm's house, which unfortunately was torn down around 2008. After passing Burdens, the road turns right and climbs a hill. Soon you will see another 66 highway shield painted on the pavement, which is now the preferred way of indicating that you are driving on Route 66. After climbing the hill, the road turns and you will see that this is a stretch of the road that passes through some wide open desert with long stretching vistas. Between here and Linwood, not much of the countryside has changed since the road was first used by automobiles in the 1910s, unlike the countryside between Victorville and Hellendale. On your left, you will see the same beige colored buildings that you may have seen before when you passed Sagebrush Annie. This radar testing facility is operated by Lockheed Martin and tests the radar stealthness of shapes such as fighter jets like the F-22 Raptor or the now retired F-117 Nighthawk. As you can see from this aerial map, the main gate is not close to the secretive facility and is difficult to see it or any activity from the highway. Next on our journey is a region named Hodge. Before Route 66 came along, settlers first farmed this area as there was ample water from the Mojave River. For the next 10 miles or so, you will see hints of farming on both sides of the river. passing an active ranch, the highway once again joins the railroad tracks. After about a mile, there will be a cluster of buildings on the right, starting with this old windmill. Past 
Next to the windmill is the remains of this 1940s or 50s era hotel, which is now a private residence. A mile past the hotel, the intersection of Hinkley Road is reached. An old gas station used to sit on the northwest corner, and you can still see the foundations behind the fence. If you turn left here onto Hinkley Road and drive a half a mile, there's a small historical marker located just past the railroad crossing. This marker mentions all of the historical roads that passed by here for the past 200 years. Soon, you'll be on the final stretch to Linwood and Barstow, but not before passing by the strangely deserted compound called the Dunes. This old hotel has been occupied on and off for the past 20 years or so. After passing the Barstow City Limit sign, you will roll into the town of Linwood. The site of a drive-in theater named Bar Lynn is located behind this abandoned hotel called the Dew Drop Inn. If you drive behind the hotel, you can still see the old humps that cars parked on to watch the movies. About here is where the big screen was located. Try to imagine kids playing here on the swings, waiting for the movie to start. This aerial image shows the footprint of the old drive-in theater. Around 2017, the intersection of Route 66 and Lenwood Road was modified significantly to compensate for a new bridge over the railroad tracks. As a result, a detour road was built on top of the drive-in property and then removed when the project was completed, which has removed some of the humps. Downtown Linwood was seen on the movie Aaron Brockovich. This street scene is where Ms. Brockovich visited the offices of the Water District. The movie focused on the alleged contamination of drinking water with chromium-6 from a natural gas pumping facility located just north of here in the town of Hinkley. This trip ends where Route 66 passes under the 58 freeway, which is where our next virtual road trip begins. It will point out the sights to see as we drive through downtown Barstow. Look for our video entitled, Route 66 Tour Through Downtown Barstow.